sunshine. <laughs> this is the second time this year, and where we ended up? On, on the key? No, in here. Never mind. The choir will be the same. In fact, it may be better. There's a lot more room tonight, but I looked a bit more last time, so uh, we expect some good things. Uh, before we start, I, I usually read a psalm, and I'll do that in a minute, and a, and a short prayer for choirs. But a couple of preacher jokes. Uh, a preacher came out one day and there was a little boy outside put in the service and he came out and he said to him, uh, you know, when I grow up I'm going to get her lots of money and give you lots of money. He said, why is that? Well, my father said you must be the poorest preacher there is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the other one's a bit longer. <laughs> now, you see, there was um, a preacher who uh, retired. And um, one of the things he wanted to do was gardening. The main thing he always wanted to do was gardening. So the first thing he did when he retired, went out and bought a lawnmower. At least, he went out and looked for a second-hand lawnmower. And when he got it, um, it was running lovely, cutting the grass. So he bought it, 25 quid. The little boy said, you'll be happy with that, I'm sure. So off he goes with his lawnmower. Gets back to his own garden, can't start it. You know it's like when you're trying to start a group too short? Pull the string. Keep on pulling the string. He said, I can't make this work. The boy came past and he said, well, I've got the answer to it. What should you do? You should cuss at it, he said. He said, I tell you, I was a preacher. I don't cuss. And the boy said, you pull that string long enough and you will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. All right. Now, what I've got here, um, if you're familiar with the 23rd Psalm, you may be familiar with the pilot's prayer or the pilot's psalm. That's pilot as in boat, not pilot as in aircraft. Uh, and uh, you may well recognize the roots of the 23rd Psalm in behind this. The Lord is my pilot, I shall not drift. He lighteth me across the dark waters. He steereth me in the deep channels. He keepeth my law. He guideth me by the star of holiness for his namesake. Yea, though I sail mid the thunders and tempests of life, I shall dread not danger, for thou art near me, thy love and care they shelter me. Thou prepares to harbour before me in the homeland of eternity. Thou anointest the ways with oil, my ship rideth calmly. Surely sunlight and starlight shall favour me on the voyage I take, and I will rest in the port of my God forever. And just one short one. After a service one day, a man said to the preacher on the way out, you know, your service, your sermon reminded me of the love and peace of God. Well, he said, nobody's ever said that to me. Can you tell me why? He said, yeah, it reminds me for the peace of God because it passes all understanding. <laughs> and it reminds me for the love of God because it endured forever. <laughs> anyway, anyway, that's that. And as I promised you, a little prayer for members of choir. So let us pray. Almighty God, who hast ordained that the hearts of men shall be kindled by music, and their minds thereby attuned to understanding thy divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that at all who need thy praises may know themselves to be thy ministers, and that the hearts of all who hear may be lifted up unto thee, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Why? <coughs>
out, but apologise for the weather. It's out of our control, as are most things in life. Um, that the planned fire, as you may, may have guessed, was a Welsh hymn tune. Anybody here from Wales tonight? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know anybody else. <laughs> well, we've got two at least. Yeah, um, Ansel Thomas arranged that, and he actually was born in 1909, which is the same year that the choir started. So, if you didn't already know, if you hadn't noticed the lights on the harbour side, this is our centenary year, which we're uh, celebrating in many ways. We are, uh, you know, delighted that the harbour lights people made the uh, thing that's on the key for the Christmas lights last year, and be up again this year. And they they came up with the idea of putting it up in the summer to say congratulations on your centenary, which we thought was lovely. Um, Portia is, the, is our assistant musical director at Mausel and has been for been eight years now. Seven, close. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's going to take the next piece, to, which is the old woman, and then we're going to have a barbershop song, My Wild Irish Rose. <coughs> 